In the previous video, Pete and I touched on the topic of Class B airspace. Now that we're here in San Carlos, we got to plan an escape from the Bay Area that avoids Class B airspace. Looking on the sectional chart here, you can see how busy this airspace is. Here's San Francisco Airport, in which the entire Class B inverted wedding cake, as we often refer to it, is based. Just across the bay is Oakland Airport, and then just to the south, San Jose Airport, all with their unique bits of airspace. So if we plot a course that cuts out of San Carlos just south of San Francisco and heads low across the bay underneath the Class B airspace in between San Jose and Oakland Airport and then we can start our climb up over the hills and home towards Nevada County. Here's what Class B airspace looks in 3D not to scale so we're gonna we're gonna be kind of underneath this ring right here and want to remain underneath this ring and stay out of class b airspace what's the purpose of class b airspace this is an airline approach chart for san francisco international airport and this is something we commonly fly on the uh, in the airliners the rnav gps prm approach for 28 left and it uses vertical navigation to keep the airlines inside of the class b airspace by stepping down as the closer you get to the airport so the whole idea of, of class b airspace is to separate the airline traffic from everybody else so the airliners stay inside the wedding cake and the rest of us stay outside of it so there's a lot of requirements for operating in or near class b airspace reference your far's but operationally the final requirement is you need a clearance to enter class b airspace you gotta have a mother may i you gotta hear the words cleared into Class B airspace before you climb up into Class B airspace. The gotcha I want to emphasize is one day taken off out of here, the controller gave me a authorization somewhere back here to climb to 4,500 feet, but he did not say cleared into Class B airspace. And I initiated that climb that was going to just clip the corner of one of this, of this Class B airspace and they queried me just in time the next controller do you have clearance into class b airspace and i said no so don't fall into that trap a clearance to climb is not a clearance to enter class b airspace unless it's followed by a clearance cleared into class b airspace and as an airline pilot you have to be extra vigilant about these vfr general aviation operations because as an airline pilot we don't typically mess with working outside of class b airspace we're not even necessarily familiar with vfr operations unless we're doing it all the time flying our small airplanes and in so doing as a civilian fl pilot flying your own small airplane around this busy congested airspace it's very easy for you to cause a violation get in trouble with the faa and potentially lose your ability to lo earn money as a commercial pilot yeah, that's right. If we didn't have to get the gas and clean the windshield and all that, that's right. 
we would be halfway there. In other words, flying is a quick way to get there, Pete, if you got a lot of time. Add some weather, and it could really take a long time to get home. But it looks good today. Climb aboard, Pete. Too sunny. It can't be possibly too sunny to go flying. We'll get you some sunglasses. Is that about flying's kind of like what, Pete? Don't drink at time like at nighttime. Don't drink so much so you don't have to do what? Uh, go to the bathroom? Yeah. yeah, good idea. Thanks, Pete. So here's our departure procedure out of San Carlos, Pete. We got to take off to the north this way and see that diamond shaped waterway right there? Yeah. Larry Ellison's towers are right there. We got to go around that, stay below 1,500 feet to get out of San Carlos. You got that? There's the diamond 
shape. We'll go around these Oracle buildings here. Remember that big sailing boat? There it is, the Larry Ellison's racing sailboat. Look, Pete, look, the sailboat in the, in the waterway there. Why is that so big? It's a huge race and sailing yacht. What? Yeah. Is that cool? Now we'll go down the slough here. There's the cement plant over there they were talking about. There's the Dunbarton Bridge. There's the uh, KGO radio tower. Okay, now we're gonna go underneath all the arrivals for San Francisco. See that jet way up there? Ah. Look at, look at. See that guy? Oh no, that, that, that's serious. Six zero eight, remain outside of Bravo and Charlie Airspace Contact, no cattle park, have a good weekend. Switch in NorCal, welcome 608, see you next time. Keep clicking this thing until that damn map comes. Okay, don't touch that button there, and we'll keep Siri out of our hair. NorCal, welcome 701608, 800 feet for the Dumbart Bridge, Coyote Hills departure. November 71608, NorCal approach with our contact, verified type aircraft. Number 23, Alpha Tango, contact approach 125.1. Trying to see what that is. We'll look at this real carefully now. This is a delicate operation here. We're going to go down by the going to be probably. There's a sunken ship out here somewhere, Pete. we got to look for that. Oh, it's over there. Okay, it's way over there. There's a shipwreck in the water there. See that? Pretty cool. It's a little shipwreck. Looks like an island, a little tiny island. What ship is that? That thing over there. No, what ship is it? I don't know what it was. It was an old ship. Was it like a yacht? No, I think it was like a tanker of some kind. Or a freighter. The wreck of the Adventure so Is that some kind of sailboat? I don't think it was a sailboat, no. I think it was a cargo ship. Ran aground in the mud. November 608, traffic 12 o'clock, one mile northbound, altitude indicates 1,600 feet. Uh, requested altitude. Alaska 608, we'll stay level here at 1,000 feet, traffic in sight, and eventually we're going to climb up to 3,500. Okay, see that airplane, Pete? Right there? Yeah. Okay. Nope, nobody else over here. What is that corner right there? 3,000. Okay, this is 2,500. Looking good, Pete, looking good. Uh, 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 uh. Messing up the furniture, that's all nice and clean and shiny. Don't scratch it up. Feed up the furniture. Okay, we're at 1,500, we're looking good. Where are we, right there on that corner of the birthday cake right there? All right, the next sec sector is... Uh, 3046 is going to maintain 3,500. 3,500 south of 3046. November 608, maintain VFR at or below 2,500 for traffic. VFR at or below 2,500, lost from 608. Okay, 2,000. Open the bridge, good. Off the north, 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 north,
heavy the traffic is passing off your left and lower turn right heading 270 join the 30 localizer maintain three heading at 270 join the localizer runway 30 traffic inside the sector can you fly that 7067 heavy descend and maintain and now 2500 advise when you have the airport set. Seven is a lot like that 7067 descend 2500 and the airport is inside uh, north of the 7067 Number 608, 3,500 approved. 2.5 to 3.5, let's go 608. Shuttle 7067, heavy, Oakland Tower now, 127.2. 127.2, north out of 7067. Bye. Good afternoon, north out of 7067. You're 40 knots faster, Oakland Tower now, 127.2. Good afternoon. Thanks for the heads up, 62, 78, switching. Happy New Year. Pretty much right. Next to Mount Diablo, huh? Bridge, uh, 9045. Okay, here's our altitude, Pete. Say 3,500. Look it. 3,500. Okay, let's level off so we don't get violated. Don't get in trouble. Uh, see that freeway down there? Look at all those poor people stuck on that tra in that traffic on that freeway down there. Whoa. They're not even moving. And if mom doesn't get out of town soon, she's going to be stuck in that traffic. We'll be home long before mom gets home. You ready to fly a little bit, Pete? Want to fly a little bit? Okay. You have the aircraft. What do you say? I have the aircraft. Okay. Very good. we got to stay pretty close on our altitude here, so I'll be monitoring that closely. That's good, you got it. You're so good. that's right and that's left? That's correct. Now, we don't want to fly towards that Mount Diablo, so we got to stay a little bit over here. That's right and that's left. This is east and that is west. Something I need to refresh your course on. I got that all backwards today. Pete, can you see, can you see that mountain over there? Over the nose? Can you see that mountain over the nose right there? Okay, so we want to stay just to the right of it, right over it there. November 608, traffic, 1 o'clock, 5 miles maneuvering, altitude in the case, 3 down. Looking for Las Comas 608. Okay, traffic 5 miles away, the maneuvering is probably aromatics over there by Livermore. Bring her back up a little bit to 3,500. Bring the nose up just a little bit gently. That's good. Nice, gentle touch, Pete. Yeah, you got it. A little more. Good. That's good to rest your hand on your knee like that. That's that's an excellent thing. Number 608, advise you climb 500 feet. Traffic's converging 1 o'clock and 2 and a half miles. Okay, look, 608 in the climb. Look in the land. We have the traffic in sight. Number 608, Roger Altitude, your discretion. Okay, altitude our discretion. Here's the air. Do you see that airplane, Pete? No. See that airplane right there? Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're going to kind of fall in behind. 
behind him here. You have the aircraft. Thank you, Pete. I have the aircraft. Good man. You're way ahead of me already. Way ahead of me. Let's trim back up here. Okay, Pete, you have the aircraft. I have the aircraft. That's correct. Let's go a little bit to the right there. A little bit over that away. Yep. How's our speed looking? 86 knots, Pedro. We're smoking now. One hour and eight minutes to go. Well, look how clear it is up here today. Ain't that nice. Well, Pepe, you ready to try one of my patented carrier short field landings today on seven? All right. See how short we can land it with two people on board. We'll aim for the uh, turn off up there by the line office. Pretty quiet, I don't hear anybody in the pattern. Doobie dooby doo. Rockin' around the Christmas tree on a happy holiday. Is that how that song goes, Pete? Uh, no. No? <laughs> you ready to land? I can read that boy. You think what? I can read that boy song. You know how it goes? How's it go? Walk Boughs of holly. Walking around the Christmas tree at the Christmas party. But we don't have, have some pumpkin pie. We'll do some caroling. Good. Yeah. Lost 71608, final 7, Nevada County. Full stop. Airport is in sight. Airport in sight, Pedro Moreno. I hope we don't do Kablamo again. Kablamo, we might do a little Kablamo if I do a short field landing. How do you go down? You just reduce the throttle. What? Just pull back on the throttle. Oh. See, RPM is way down. That looks... Yeah. That makes sense. We'll pick up an aim point and an air speed. We got about 50 indicated here. But in the, um, we'll just use the throttle as our elevator. In the Bonanza, um, you have that thing, and then when you pull back, you go up, and then when you push in, you go down. That's right. And the stick and the luscum is the same thing, but different, right? Yeah, a little. But then there's pitch and power, and you can use your pitch and power to throttle for your up and down. So I got a spot picked out about midfield I'm aiming for. I thought approaching speed was real fast on this. The what? The approach speed? Yeah. That's a good observation, Pete. I'm doing a slower than normal approach speed for our short field landing today. Man, I tell you what, you are all over this thing some days. Want to get you trained up quick, because you be better at it than me. All right, a little bit drug in. There's 45 indicated. There's my spot right up here. Watch my speed. Now, get ready for Kablamo. Kablamo! <laughs> and we made it to... Which, er, we made it to that light right there. So we'll have to come back and measure that distance right there by the 2,000 foot marker. See that big black marker there? Yeah. When can we unbuckle? 
Uh, let me get off of the runway here first. We'll get gas tomorrow. We got to do a little more flying, uh, formation flying tomorrow for a little memorial service for Sherm, the Shermanator. Daddy, why are we going to do formation? Is it going to be four airplanes? Uh, three airplanes, yes. Three Luscombs, that is. Wait, are you gonna do that thing with me? Uh, probably, I'll probably go uh, solo on that one. Okay, go ahead. You wanna go? wanna go multiple days in the airplane. Multiple days in the airplane, yeah. Too much, huh? That kind of makes it sound like I'm staying there in two days, actually. It is. It would be two days in a row. Like, what night? You, gotta, you want to play with your new toys, don't you? From Christmas? We got to get some of those RC models going. Don't you think it was better than driving? No. What do you mean? So are you going to be ready to solo soon? No. No, you got to grow up a bit more, huh? No. You don't do grow up. Everything is no, huh? No. <laughs> are your ears on fire? No. <laughs> there you go. No. Push it up there. Push that up there. So it stays. Yeah. 